Good afternoon and welcome to Employment for All. My name is Kimberly Bissett and I'm an Employment and Training Manager at the Boston University Center for Psychiatric Rehabilitation. Employment for All is brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts. And our motto is that everyone can be successful with the right supports. The goal of our show is to bring you informative and interesting resources in the community, community that can help you connect better to both um, one another, yourselves, and individuals in the community. Today we'd like to welcome our guest, we have Marjorie Jacobs. She's an instructor, a rehabilitation counselor, and an associate trainer at the BU Center for Psychiatric Rehabilitation, and Micah, her certified therapy dog. Thank you, Kim, for inviting me on the show. Well, it's our pleasure. Why don't we start off with you? Tell us a little bit about your background. OK. Um, around 30 years ago now, I'm showing my age. <laughs> I began, I founded a school in Cambridge called the Community Learning Center, and I spent most of my earlier years being a teacher and a counselor helping people get their GEDs. So I worked always with adults in adult education. Terrific. And how did you get started in this field? Well, what I discovered in helping people reach their educational goals is people were having challenges due to illness. And a lot of the times it was mental health challenges. And that made me want to go back to graduate school and get more training and knowledge so that I could better support people in their studies. And so I ended up um, going to many trainings at the Mind Body Medical Institute, which is now called the Benson Henry Institute for Mind Body Medicine. And that I enrolled also at Lesley University in a graduate program, postgraduate program actually, in integrative holistic health studies. Wow. And, and then two of my students who were there at the Community Learning Center were also attending BU, mm -hmm. Center for Psychiatric Rehabilitation, and they said to me, this is a place you would love. Wow. It's all about holistic education. So in my final semester at Leslie, I went over and met the director, Dory Hutchinson, and told her I had an idea to develop a course to help people become resilient in the face of stress. And she hired me as an instructor. And Terrific. that's, everything is history now. <laughs> the students at the center convinced me I should leave my old job, wow. which I did. Wow. And that was five and a half years ago. Terrific. So tell us a little bit about this beautiful girl here. This is Micah, and she's a rescue dog. I rescued her from the Poodle Rescue of New England. Um, and I did that because I have a, a long-standing love of dogs. I've always had at least two dogs with me. Now I only have one. And I wanted to bring my dogs and to take that interest in animals and combine it with my interest in healing and health. Mm -hmm. And so I told my husband, my next dog is definitely, I'm going to train it to be a therapy dog, which I did. Wow. And tell us what that involves, because Micah is a certified therapy dog, and That's she visits right. hospitals and the center. That's right. Um, two weeks after getting Micah, I signed her up for her classes at, through the New England Dog Training Club in Cambridge. And I began working with her weekly at the school, at this um, training club uh, for an hour every night. Wow. And um, then I got her certified through the um, Pets and People Foundation. And she had to be screened by them, by their uh, dog trainer, who was actually the head of the Western Dog Training Club. And then at, through the New England Dog Training Club, where we were going for classes, she had to pass an exam through the American Kennel Club called the Canine Good Citizen wow. Test. Wow. So she passed that test. Excellent. And uh, she seems to be a natural on camera, too. So not only does she bring yeah. joy and, and love into people's lives, but she likes to be on the camera. She has the temperament to be a, a certified therapy dog. She's very calm in nature. And she picks up on people's emotions. 
And tell us about some of the benefits of, of having a therapy dog for people. Okay, well, they, the number one thing that the research has shown is they re reduce stress. They, when just the act of petting the dog lowers our blood pressure and also the dog's blood pressure. She also slows down heart rate, wow. deepens respiration. She increases the relief of feel-good chemicals. Ah, endorphins, we all love endorphins. Endorphins, serotonin, dopamine, Excellent. oxytocin, oh, which is the okay. chemical that allows bonding between mother and child. Wow. And so she increases those levels, even for men. Wow. So when you pet the dog, you feel a natural sense of co a connection. That's through the physical body. We feel that, but we enjoy it spiritually and mentally as well. Wow. And you just feel a, a presence with animals in the room. Yes. You can't ignore animals. There's a presence, there's a mind-body, there's an awareness. It's very in the moment, and it's very, it's very cathartic. It's very healing. Just like when we walked in the door here, yes. the people who exactly. greeted us, two people there, they were just smiling and felt very joyful and got a, some surge of energy after working so hard last night. They said that they felt uh, elevated and happy yeah, to see Yeah, like a real sense of connection, yeah. absolutely. So that's wonderful. And you bring Micah into hospitals and, and help her connect with different people there who are having difficulties. Yes, um, I bring her to Cambridge Hospital and she works on two of the psych units there, Cahill 3 and 4. And she also works at our center and she goes to work with me all day. Yeah. So that's, a, that's pretty hard, the job of a that's therapy a dog. Day. Yeah, it's usually an hour to two hours at the most. Right. She spends two hours on Friday at the hospital and seven to eight hours at our center, wow. working in classes and individually as well. <laughs> she just gave a yawn. She said, that's a piece yeah. of cake. It's all easy for me. I wonder if she's looking into the camera. Yeah, I don't know. She seems to like I don't like know what she's thinking film. about. Yeah. Um, she must think it's strange to be sitting on a chair. Yeah, she said, I've got to get back to work. I wonder what this is about. So she ain't even aspired a course. Tell us about that. That's right. In, in 2006, the friend who introduced me to Micah, he's the dean at BU School of Theology, and he was interested in developing a course there called Animals in Healing, and he asked if I'd like to be part of a collaboration. Wow. And of course, I jumped at the chance. Right. I thought that was a wonderful opportunity. But then I thought, well, this is a theology school. What am I going to contribute yeah. as an instructor? Ah, my rehabilitation experience. So I thought about maybe I could recruit some of the graduate students to be interns at our program. Oh, and okay. I designed a course called Kindred Spirits, Animals in Recovery. Oh, terrific. All about the benefits of connecting to animals. Great. So why don't you tell us a success story of, of, of someone who's experienced um, kind of some of your classes? Okay, in one of my classes where Micah was present called Developing Stress Hardiness, mm -hmm. there was a student n named, uh, whose name I won't mention, um, <laughs> she had a lot of struggles uh, with her self-esteem and feeling like she was an older student and it was hard for her at the center. And so I think Micah gave her some support and I gave her a lot of support and um, she ended up becoming my teaching assistant. Wow. And then that class... Um, she had taken it and assisted me so many times, she was looking for a new challenge. So she actually went into a program we called Hope in Health, where she had the opportunity to work on her physical health, mm -hmm. on exercise, and um, eating right, good nutrition, learning about that, and learning about ways she could cultivate a positive attitude that would sustain her in developing these health-promoting new uh, behaviors. Terrific. And when she completed that program, she wanted to keep going and work and studying and maybe even she had this idea of going back to school and maybe becoming a therapist someday and she got interested in your program, Training for the Future. Terrific.